Hey everyone, I am Zueb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In this video, we are going to convert an existing mat Angular material list into a multi-select list with the Angular CDK selection model. Selection model is a nice utility class included in the CDK package that allows us to quickly add selection functionality to our apps. Our final result will look something like this. We can select any item on the list. The header shows us the item selected and we can also select all items and deselect all items. So let's get started. Our starting point in this will be our existing list which we created in my previous video. You can find the link above. So we have our project ready. Next we'll add an import for mat checkbox module by going in app.module.ts. So let's add mat checkbox module here. Great. Now let's, uh, let's go in our template in app.component.html and add the checkbox to our list items. So we don't need our mat list avatar here so we are going to remove that and instead of that we are going to add our mat checkbox. We'll do mat checkbox and we're going to use here a directive of mat list icon which is just to position the mat checkbox in the correct place. Let's test this out. So as we can see, it's in the correct position. Next, let's go in our component and declare a variable called selection. We'll do selection and this will be a new selection model. This is imported from Angular CDK collections. The type here we'll give as any and then it has two parameters. The first one will be whether we should allow multi-selection or not. We are going to give it true here because we want multi-selection. The second one will be our initial value of the selection which will be an empty array in our case. Great. Now let's bind this selection model to our checkbox. So let's go in our component template again and here we add a change event handler and in this we're just going to call selection dot toggle and pass in our item. Also we'll link the checked attribute of the checkbox to whether the item is currently selected or not. For this we have selection dot is selected item. Simple enough right? Next we'd like to have a master selection checkbox as well. But for this we need a header. Let's create a new div above our list with the class header. Inside of this we'll add a mat checkbox and then two spans. One span will have our total list items. So we'll say showing list items at length and then items. The second span will be showing our selected items. So we're going to use the selection.selected dot length value with selected. Of course we only want to show this when the selection is not empty so we'll keep an ngf with selection dot selected dot length greater than zero. This will only show this span when we need it. Now before adding the checkbox functionality let's quickly add some styling so it appears good. So let's go in our sas file and add a header class and we're going to add a display flex rule align item center and some padding we'll make the background color of the header a bit light indigo and the color of white so that it pops out we'll also give a style for the checkbox giving a margin right of 20 pix 25 pixels so lastly we'll add a selected text class on our last span and style with some margin on it so that we can have some spacing. Great, let's test all this out. Okay, the header looks nice and when we select or deselect any of our items, it adds and removes from the selection model which is updated in our header. But our master checkbox doesn't work as well. Let's do that next. We'll add a change event handler to our master checkbox and we'll add a new event handler called toggle master selection 
Let's add this function to our component. We'll add toggle master selection. Now toggling master selection requires us to check whether all our items are selected or not. So first create a getter called all selected. All selected. And it's going to return a boolean. And here we'll check whether this dot selection dot selected dot length is equals to list items dot length or not. If it is equals to list items dot length, that means that all of the items have been selected, otherwise not. Now in our function, all we have to do is to check if this dot all selected, and if it is, we are going to clear the selection with this dot selection dot clear. Otherwise we are going to select all the items. How do we do that? We are going to do this dot selection dot select and use the spread operator giving our list items. This is going to add all our items to the selection. Great. Now lastly, let's also add the checked attribute for the master checkbox. The checked attribute here is just going to use all selected, the getter that we just defined. Great, let's test this all. So now when we select all, we can see the header status updated and also all our items being selected automatically because we have bound them with our selection model. Just one last thing we need now. If you notice when we select all and then deselect any of our items, the select all checkbox becomes unselected as well. This is fine, but there is a better way to indicate some items are selected and that is the indeterminate state. So let's see, set the indeterminate input of our checkbox here. Now we want it to be indeterminate uh, on two conditions. When selection dot selected dot length is not zero, that is there is something selected and also when all selected is false. In other words, when some items are selected, but not all. Great. So let's finally test this out. So yes, now you can see when we select all and deselect a few items, we get that beautiful indeterminate state on our master checkbox. So there you have it. Easy multi-selection capability added to an existing list with the help of Angular CTK selection model class. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.